how to enter windows 10 safe mode when you can't boot normally when you're having issues with the windows computer one of the first step to troubleshooting is to boot into safe mode safe mode is a simple striped down version of the operating system loading only the most essential files and drivers this mode makes it easy to troubleshoot problems because it does not load things that can make windows crash in this video, we'll show you three ways to boot that works effectively when you can't boot Windows 10 normally. The first method. Interrupt the normal boot process of Windows 10 three times in a row. If Windows 10 fails to boot normally three times over, the fourth time it enters by default in an automatic repair mode. Using this mode, you can boot into safe mode. To trigger the automatic repair mode, you must interrupt the normal boot process three consecutive times. Use a reset or the power button on your Windows 10 PC to stop it during boot, before it finishes loading Windows 10. If you use the power button, you might have to keep it pressed for at least 4 seconds to force the power off. When Windows 10 enters the automatic repair mode, the first thing you see is a screen that tells you that the operating system is Preparing automatic repair. On the automatic repair screen, press the advanced options button. Then choose troubleshoot. On the troubleshoot screen, go to advanced options. On the advanced options screen, choose startup settings. Windows 10 says that you can restart your device to change advanced boot options, including enabling safe mode. Press restart. After Windows 10 restart one more time, you can choose which boot option you want to be enabled. To get into safe mode, you have three different options. Standard safe mode. Press the 4 or the F4 key on your keyboard to start it. Safe mode with networking. Press 5 or F5. Safe mode with command prompt. Press either 6 or F6. Log into Windows 10 Safe mode with the user account that has administrator permissions and perform the changes you want. The second method Use a Windows 10 installation drive and the command prompt. If you have a Windows 10 setup DVD or USB memory, you can use it to boot your broken PC with Windows 10 into safe mode. To create a Windows 10 installation drive, see the video description for tutorial. How to create Windows 10 installation media on a USB stick or download a free ISO file. Boot from Windows 10 setup DVD or USB and wait for the installation environment to load. Choose a language and keyboard layout you prefer and click on next. Click on the link that says repair your computer. When asked what option you prefer, choose troubleshoot. On the advanced option screen, click command prompt. Inside the command prompt window, type the command bcd edit space slash set space bracket default bracket space safe boot space minimal press enter on your keyboard and after a moment it tells you that the operation completed successfully close the command prompt and choose to continue on the next screen After your PC reboots, Windows 10 starts into safe mode. Log in with a user account that has administrator permissions and perform the changes you want. It's important. The problem with this method is that it tells Windows 10 to enter safe mode automatically every time you start it until you tell it not to. To disable the setting and get Windows 10 to boot normally again, Run the same procedure one more time and type command bcd edit space slash 
delete value space bracket default bracket space safe boot. The third method use F8 or Shift plus F8 it does not work when using UEFI BIOS and SSC drives. In Windows 7, you were able to press F8 just before the windows got loaded to open the advanced boot options window, where you could choose to start Windows 7 into safe mode. Some websites advise you to press Shift plus F8 just before Windows 10 starts loading so that you make it launch the recovery mode from where you can boot into safe mode. The problem is that most times Shift plus F8 and F8 does not work even though they are correct commands supported by Windows 10. If you found the video useful, please like and share and don't forget to subscribe.